In cities across the country, people are now allowed to own chickens in urban areas. As John Blackstone reports, those would-be farmers are learning an unpleasant reality. In a backyard in Costa Mesa, California, Henrietta and Astrid have a pretty good life for chickens. I wake up in the morning with the chickens squawking at the back door, wanting to either come in the house or to be fed. Alan Peterson feeds his birds and they feed him. I'm grateful for every meal I have and when it comes right out of my own backyard, that it makes it even all the more special. It's that desire for more natural food that has created a growing number of urban chicken farmers. But as Peterson has discovered, chickens lay more than eggs. Every time we want to enjoy the backyard, we need to hose it down and clean it up because the girls leave landmines wherever they go. Chickens need a lot of care. Their bedding needs to be cleaned every single day. They're messy. They're messy animals, yes. Margie Beach works at Animal Place near Sacramento, a shelter for unwanted or abandoned animals. Beach says the number of calls she gets from disillusioned backyard chicken keepers has doubled in the past five years. We actually have over a thousand and most of those are for adoption, but we're at you know close to maximum capacity here, so we can't take in every animal we get a call on. Bird owners don't realize chickens can live for 10 years, but are only productive egg layers for two. Shelters across the country are hatching plans to deal with abandoned birds. So people think, I'll get some chicks, we'll throw some seeds in the backyard, and we're gonna have eggs every morning. Right, and that's just not the way it works. We see chickens as the same as taking care of a dog or a cat. You wouldn't just throw a eight-week-old puppy in the backyard and expect them to survive on their own. But still, the mystique of fresh eggs in the morning lives on. One online realty site highlights homes with chic, customized coops. So it's no surprise celebrities have embraced the idea. Chloe, <laughs> Chloe, Chloe, Chloe! Even the Kardashians tried keeping chickens, but under the pressure, they crack. I got it. And even Alan Peterson has had enough. He still has a certain affection for his chickens, but now feels owning them is for the birds. For CBS This Morning, John Blackstone, Grass Valley, California. Uh, <laughs> you know, well, we learned something. We did learn something. We learned something. something that they are only productive for the first two years, but they live to be 10. Yeah. Well, yeah, it would well. be, you know, I think it'd be very nice to have fresh eggs in the morning. There's I nothing better, but like everything. There are other ways to get fresh eggs in the bit. morning, dear.